Okay, so today we're going to talk about postural hypotension, otherwise known as orthostatic hypotension. For this demonstration, we need a standard hospital glove, rubbery one, like this, and we also need a tap and a sink. So we're going to fill up the glove with some water, and that until it's about that full, like that. Now, so this a little bit more maybe. So this glove is meant to represent a human body. Now this, and we'll squash the water out of it like that. Okay, so now this is these are the legs and this is the abdomen and this thumb is important because that represents the, the heart. And so when that's full, then there's blood getting, getting, filling the heart. If it's empty, there isn't. So we can start with our patient lying down, and you can see there's nice, lots of blood filling the heart. So cardiac output is good, and the blood pressure is fine. Stand up, and look what happens. It disappears. Now, that doesn't happen normally. The reason it doesn't, if, if you're health, healthy, is because when you stand up, there's a reflex venoconstriction represented by my hand squeezing like that to maintain cardiac filling. So that's how it works normally. But what about in our patient with postural hypotension or orthostatic hypotension? Well, the problem is when you don't get the squeeze. And if you see, if you don't get the squeeze, then you don't have any filling of the heart. There's no cardiac output, blood pressure drops, and then you fall over. So what is it that causes a squeeze? Well, it's autonomic nervous system, signals start, start in the medulla, and this happens even before we stand up. That's the important thing. So this patient thinks, hey, I'm going to stand up. So we start to squeeze. As we stand up, the squeeze maintains cardiac output. In some with postural hypotension, it doesn't have the squeeze. Then that happens. The squeeze is caused by sympathetic nerves from the medulla, causing that squeeze, and the nerves cause uh, venous smooth, smooth muscle contraction on alpha receptors. So if we think about what might be causing um, postural hypotension due to failure of the squeeze, then it's either a problem with the medulla in patients with Parkinson's disease, motor system atrophy, patients on certain drugs such as methyl dopa or certain antidepress antidepressant drugs, and also of course patients who have autonomic neuropathy due to diabetes or um, alcoholism, there, then the squeeze doesn't happen because of the nerves are damaged. And of course, in our patient, um, she's got, she was taking uh, doxazosin, which is an alpha blocker. And of course, an alpha blocker is going to prevent that squeeze and prevent normal filling, cardiac, cardiac filling and postural hypotension. So the other main cause of postural hypotension is, as I'm going to demonstrate here, is if we get rid of volume. Now, if we haven't got enough volume in the system, and that may be because of blood loss, it may be because of uh, fever and, uh, or sepsis, it may be because of um, diuretic therapy, a whole range of things. When you're lying down, you have a blood pressure because you've got filling pressure there. You stand up. Even with a squeeze, we're still not getting adequate cardiac filling pressure. So anything that causes a loss in circulating volume is going to cause postural hypotension. And this may be particularly useful in young, fit people who, when they're lying down, they have adequate blood pressure, but you only see that they've actually got volume depletion when you stand them up and they can't manage, despite the normal squeeze, to, to get adequate cardiac filling pressure and adequate cardiac output. So what do we do about it? Well, well, obviously, we fill them up. And if, if they've got inadequate fluid, so the people who are underfilled, we fill up, or treat their sepsis, or stop their diuretics. What about people who have a problem with their medulla, so they're not sending out the signals due to more system atrophy or with autonomic neuropathy? Well, one of the things we can do, then, is overfill them. And if we overfill, that, then lying down, they've got cardiac filling. Standing up, they've got cardiac filling. They don't actually need to squeeze. And so drugs such as fluvocortisone, which acts to increase circulating volume by decreasing salt and water output,
can actually be used, but clearly you have to use them carefully in people who are prone to fluid overload, because if we overload too much, then you can actually precipitate pulmonary edema by doing that. So that's postural hypotension, orthostatic hypotension, demonstrated by a glove, a sink, and a tap. Thank you.